how to make a website to sell services. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can build your own website to begin selling your services. So these might be digital services, these might be physical services, you can choose either one. So I'm just going to go on ahead and go on to Wix.com. I already have an account. If you don't have one, you can sign up by your email address. Now, after that, you're going to click on create new site, and then I'm just going to choose the Wix website editor to build my website. Now, there is a key difference between selling digital services and physical services. If you're selling physical services, you might want to add a booking system because you probably have things that you do by appointment. But uh, if you have, you know, digital service platform, like you sell logos or something like that, you're in graphic design, then you're not going to really need a booking system. So that totally depends on what kind of services you're selling. For this example over here, I'm going to be selling digital services so i won't be adding the wix booking system but if you want to add that you can just click on the app section in wix and then add the booking system and set in your time slots so over here we're just going to search our templates or you can even go to the store templates and you can go on ahead and take a look at their uh, templates that they have so I can click on all and I can choose a template that I want. Most of these templates are for physical stuff, but you can usually find digital services. So you have a cleaning company. This is a physical service template. You have cleaning company, vintage car dealers, bike repair shops, IT services company. So you have multiple different templates available depending on what you do. So I want to be able to sell my services online as well using my website. So for that, I would recommend that you upgrade to a premium version of Wix. Uh, I recommend that you go with the business and e-commerce plans and go for the business unlimited one. It only starts at 25 USD per month, but you get unlimited bandwidth as well as 35 gigabytes of storage. And you have 10 hours of video that you can add and you have a bunch of different other features such as connecting your own free domain and 100 transactions a month automated sales tax multiple currencies subscriptions a bed card recovery and so much more so if you want to accept online payments make sure to upgrade to this version of wix but moving on uh, there are a bunch of different templates that you can choose from for this example, I'm actually going to get started from scratch. So for that, you can just click on blank templates over here and choose a basic little blank template. And you can click on start from scratch if you want nothing at all. But if you want like a simple layout that helps you in uh, setting up your products, you can just choose one of these layouts over here. So I want the overlapping layout. So I'm going to click on edit over here. And I'm going to be creating a simple online store for a uh, digital service of graphic designing. And, you know, I'm going to provide multiple different services such as logo design, web design, or uh, something else along those lines. So I'm just going to wait for our basic little layout to be loaded onto my screen. So over here, I have just loaded up my blank template. Now in the blank template, you can click on menus and pages and uh, I want to be able to sell my services online. So I'm going to delete the projects page and I'm just going to keep the about page. And this is like an anchor page, so I don't want it to be an anchor page. So I'm just going to delete it or I think I'm just going to keep all of the this basic page section, the home page, and all the information. Then I'm going to remove this project section within the home page as well. Removing this. Now I'm just going to begin by adding my name. So this is going to be so Jane's Studio. And then I can enter some images. So I can click on change strip background, enter my own images. And you can click on upload media to add your own media. And I'm just going to click on change image over here as well and customize these images. And now I'm just going to add some basic text welcoming people to my website. So I'm just adding like a basic welcome section and I'm going to click on change design because I want to change or customize this design. So I'm going to click on the background color, make it slightly less opaque and actually give it some color instead. So I'm going to go with this. I think this looks kind of interesting. It's slightly less opaque. 
Then I have the about section. So in this section, you can enter information about yourself, but I'm going to skip that. But then after that, I want to be able to sell my services. So for that, I'm going to go into the add app section in Wix and this will open up the Wix app market. And from here, I'm going to integrate the e-commerce application. So you're going to click on sell online over here. And after that, you are just going to integrate your, uh, you know, payment options or Wix online store. I recommend just click on online store over here or just search for online store. So we're just going to go ahead and click on add to site and we will add Wix stores to our site. The reason I like to add Wix stores is that it keeps everything simple and everything is super easy to navigate as well with the wix stores so now that the shop section has been added so you'll be able to see your shop section now instead of adding products you will actually be selling your services as products and the reason i like to do that is because it enables me to accept online payments and make sure everything looks good so i'm going to go into the my business section now now wix store has been added now after that i can click on um, manage pages to manage everything but i'm going to show you guys how to do this step by step so first off i have my little shop icon that i like to just go on ahead and change up the sizes to this because this is going to be attached to the header so this is like a login bar for your customers i like to resize this and place it right over here then you have you know your cart icon so just resizing this as well making sure it is present on top so you can choose wherever you want to place this but i'm going to place the horizontal menu over here and i'm just going to place this over here or you can even go on ahead extend your header and change the style of your header as well but i'm just going to place this like so in the login bar over here and we have this so i'm going to place it like so decreasing the size of the menu and placing it like this and like so so this is our shop section now in the shop section i'm going to click on pages and menus and i'm going to click on the shop page and rename this to my services or just services like this now once i've added this as services i'm just going to click on save and I can click on save and continue. I'm publishing this right now, but uh, you can choose to add your digital services or physical services first, then save it. But what I like to do is once I have done all this, I like to make sure it's looking good on the mobile view as well. Everything is appearing nicely. So you can see the icon on mobile view is not uh, nice. So I'm gonna place it like so, just making sure everything looks cohesive. I think it looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my my site section on Wix and I'm going to go into my back end dashboard and I'm going to start selling my services. So I'm going to click on select site. This will open up the dashboard and from my dashboard I'm going to add the product or my services which are going to be added as product. So it says store products over here. You're going to click on that and you're going to delete all the pre-existing uh, template product so you can just select all of these click on more actions and delete these then you're going to click on add new product or and then you're going to click on digital file and then if this is a digital service you can enter this as a digital service or if this is a physical service you can just add wix bookings and have a booking slot instead of having people you know purchase the service online if you don't want to trade and take pre-deposit so over here i'm just going to enter all that information you have pricing and info all that and then you're just going to upload the type of digital files that you want to sell so that is how simple and easy it is to sell services whether they may be digital services or physical services online using wix so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video